my home kitchen. We're making chicken and dumplings. One of those just like really awesome comfort foods. It's a classic. The way I'm gonna start is I'm gonna reinforce some chicken stock. Okay, so three pounds of chicken, bone-in chicken thighs, skinless. Our chicken stock is getting reinforced, and what that means is we're cooking our chicken in the stock so that chicken stock is gonna get even more chicken flavor. Okay, so it's coming to a simmer, and we're just gonna turn it down a little bit and cover it. While that goes though, I will cut up um, all of our veggies. Chicken and dumplings are not something that I grew up eating by any means. I think I say this in every episode, my dad is Iranian, my mom's Italian, so I grew up with a lot of rice, a lot of pasta. I didn't necessarily eat things like chicken pot pie, chicken and dumplings, but they are things that I love as an adult because I don't know, I, I think that it, maybe it's because I didn't eat them as a kid, and I'm glad I discovered them later in my life. This is one of those recipes that everyone's mom makes it, and everyone loves the way their, mo their mom makes it, I'm sure. It definitely flourished in hard economic times, is in doing research, like that's when chicken and dumplings kind of came into existence and came to be something that people really looked for. And it's like, I mean, you can see why. It's like a comfort food. It's very like basic. You're using chicken stock, but the dumplings are very simple um, and filling. So it's something that is gonna like kind of fill you up, probably shut you up, um, make you feel good. Why wouldn't you wanna eat this? Celery in here, we got your onion, we got our carrots. These carrots, I feel like I want one more, but I only got these two. I wanna leave my carrots kind of big, cause I like, I, know, I like the texture of it. And carrots are so sweet, you know? So I wanna leave them a good size. I'm not gonna cry. Oh God, I can't, I am gonna cry. Damn it, Ian. I'm crying. Onions always make me cry. I don't care what people say. I thought of your knife is too dull. It's like not, there's, it just happens. Someone said to light a candle actually. Should I light a candle? Too late, I'm already crying. It's too late for that. Our chicken has been cooking now for about 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to, ooh, it's nice and tender. I'm just gonna put it on top of here and I'm gonna set it aside and let it cool slightly and then I'm just gonna shred it. This made a ton of chicken stock. I well, wiped our saucepan clean, we've got our stock. I'm gonna melt some butter with some oil and we're gonna start sauteing our veggies in here. And we're just gonna cook these until soft. I'm gonna add some salt right now. It's gonna flavor it. It's also gonna help draw the moisture out and soften it. Sicily. Mm. So I like to cook. One hand here, one hand here. We're gonna add our flour, all purpose, right on in. So we're basically making a roux right now with all the veggies in there. Okay, four cups of this stock. Just thicken it up. We're gonna make our dumplings. We're gonna pop them on in, put the lid on it, and let them cook for about. 15 minutes. Into our dumpling mixture, we've got some cake flour, some salt, baking powder, an egg, I'm gonna do some melted butter and some milk, and then I've got chives and parsley. I'm gonna melt this butter first. It's back here. Baking powder is gonna go in with my dry ingredients there. I'm gonna finally chop up some chives. My chives and my parsley are gonna go right into there as well. Nice little herbaceousness. One egg, a whole egg. Plop it right in with the milk. My milk and my egg and beaten together. Ian and I were talking earlier about dumplings and whether, you know, this is a dumpling truly. Like when you think of dumplings, you know, you think of maybe Chinese dumplings, things like that. But really a dumpling is anything with a filling, with a dough that is folded over onto a filling or just a piece of dough that's been boiled, fried, or baked into like something. So this is this is technically a dumpling. I know Ian does not agree. Or donuts, dumplings? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, Ian. It, it's tough, it is a tough one. I'm using cake flour. If you don't have cake flour, cake flour is actually kind of hard to find. I did try this with all-purpose flour, totally worked fine. These dumplings are a lot lighter and fluffier though with cake flour as opposed to all-purpose. But you could do it if you wanted. Our milk, and butter. You mix it gently, you don't want it to get overworked. It's gonna be a very sticky dough, and then we're just gonna drop our dumplings right on into the um, stock over here. But again, it's a sticky dough. 
Now, if you don't have one of these, yeah, you could just use a spoon. Um, you could wet a spoon or oil a spoon to make it easier. Give it space. Like these are gonna, they're gonna puff up when they cook. They're gonna plump up. Um, so give it space. You don't wanna put them on top of each other. It's not gonna work. Okay, you can see they're already starting to plump up and puff up. I'm gonna put a lid on it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. My dumplings are cooking. They're steaming away over there. I'm gonna pull this chicken. So I'm just gonna pull it and shred the meat. You can finally chop it, whatever you feel like. This is a lot of fucking chicken to shred. I hate myself for making those recipe like this, but guess what? That's why, this is why people have children. I don't want kids, but if I did, I would make them shred the chicken. God, there's so much left. I'm not even like halfway done. At this stage is where I want to like to start chopping it. But it's nice, it's nice to have it shredded. Ugh, it's worse than doing the pistachios, I'll tell you what. I could do a better job, probably, but I think this is great. Dumplings have been cooking. I'm gonna add in my chicken. Now this is very precarious because I can't lie to you. I decided to switch up my the way I do this because I thought I was being clever, but I was doing some research last night and it was saying that cooking the dumplings separate from the chicken type of thing. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. That's, I should be doing that. But now I regret it because I feel like I have nowhere to put my chicken back in. There's a lot of chicken. Just carefully go like this and move it. This is easy. The chicken's gonna go right in there. Easy, you just gotta like do a little shuffling, you know? Little Tetris, little chicken and dumpling Tetris. Okay, let's add a touch of cream to it at the end. You can add a little bit more stock if you want this thinner and more soupy. I like it thick like this. I think it's nice, um, it eats really well. Cream's in. This bad boy is ready and it tastes delicious. I already know because I tasted some of it while I was seasoning it. But it's beautiful. Let's get a little dump action. I might get myself two dumplings, who knows? A lot of chicken in there. There's so much chicken in this. Mmm. The dumpling is so light. I know this is like just basically a ball of dough, but it's like so fluffy. It's just delicious. And then with all the chicken, there's like so much chicken in this. Mmm. I wish my childhood tasted like this. I hope you guys enjoy it. The recipe, click the link below. Hashtag Cook Munchies. Thank you.